Hey everyone, James Beckett, uh, week two video. Um, this week uh, involves uh, court cases and maintaining a uh, chain of custody at the scene. Um, the two readings we had, uh, Michigan versus Clifford and Michigan versus Tyler. Uh, in these cases, evidence that was found was suppressed. Um, the fire department extinguished the fires, left, and then later on came back and uh, then conducted their investigation. <clears throat> uh, in the Michigan versus Clifford, uh, by the time they returned, they had all there were uh, the board up people were already there boarding up the house, um, pumping water out of the basement. Um, so the family already had people trying to take care of the house, demolish it, or get rid of any potential evidence that the fire department missed and when the department hadn't even conducted an investigation yet. Um, the Fourth Amendment protects us, or protects homeowners from <clears throat> unwarranted uh, search and seizures. Uh, from governmental agencies. Uh, this applies to the fire department because we are a government agency. So in these two cases, there was a warrant that needed to be obtained to return to these premises. Um, the court, <clears throat> the courts agreed as well because uh, the evidence that they did find was suppressed. Um, we do have the legal right to be on the property to conduct the investigation. Um, this can vary though. <clears throat> it has to be done in a timely manner. We can't wait days, weeks, even hours can sometimes be, become a concern. Uh, it's more like based on your jurisdiction really. Uh, that's how <clears throat> local policies uh, may be written in dictate. Um, an article that I read on Firehouse uh, Criminal Evidence at the Fire Scenes uh, it says that in some instances courts ruled searches that uh, took place 11 hours after the fire was extinguished uh, to be good. They were able to use the evidence that they found there were other rulings that threw out the evidence that were found three to four hours after. <clears throat> so uh, it didn't explain any, didn't give any specific examples, but I'm assuming that it's just based on jurisdiction, uh, rural communities that are volunteer and then uh, might not even have an investigator, may have to use the uh, state fire marshal could take several hours for them to get there uh so it depended on the location so that would be an example where extreme case where several hours could go by <clears throat> um we do need warrants to uh continue a search um luckily my my department being so close actually in Colum right outside columbus um, we're, as I talked about last week, we have a task force where we can call in investigators from the surrounding uh, townships and cities that we're part of and help with the investigation. Uh, that's if it's in Grandview. Um, we do we do have first in areas that are actually technically in the city of Columbus. This is where the, we can call for a Columbus investigator. Most of the time, we're still in the overhaul or hitting the hot spots when they arrive on the scene. They have a quick response time even uh, in the middle of the night. So luckily we don't have to really worry about leaving somebody behind at the scene. Um, there's still multiple companies on the scene uh, performing work when the investigators arrive. <clears throat> um, uh, from there, Columbus takes it. Uh, I believe that their investigators do a lot of the interrogation uh, in conjunction with their police department. Uh, I know that their investigators are trained uh, to a high level uh, to 
conduct interrogations and such. Um, ours or not, we utilize our police department as well uh, to conduct uh, the investigations, uh, interrogations. Um, but it is important to remember to maintain that chain of uh, custody that way. Uh, <clears throat> any arson that we are able to prove is able to be held up in a court of law and the uh, correct people are held accountable. Um, if you have any questions uh, about this or how uh, my department uh, does anything, if you need any further information, uh, just feel free to reach out and ask. If not, uh, I look forward to seeing all your videos. Thanks.